Hey guys, John Locke 83 I was going to talk about something a little different today. I was going to talk about the snake bite kit. Which, I have mentioned that I do live in Alabama. I do do a lot of stuff outdoors. And from time to time, there are going to be snakes in the field. Especially when it's really hot outside. They really thrive on the hot weather and they can really get around really good. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this past weekend, I did a video response to uh, Mr. Leonidas, uh, why I got into bushcrafting, and I believe I've showed you all this in one of my uh, little pouch videos that I did. And uh, I gotta be honest, these things are conveniently priced for about two or three dollars, and they conveniently suck as far as a uh, two or three dollar kit goes. The way it's supposed to work you stick it on your arm and it's supposed to attach and suck out the snake venom and more often than not it really doesn't stick all that great. It's working pretty good right now but it still does not create very much suction and you do have two large suction cups and then a smaller one that is curved at the end where it can go around your finger if you get bit on your hand or whatnot but this one really doesn't work at all hardly so uh, this this wasn't all that came in the kit um, I actually did remove some of the items and put them in my little first aid kit that I carry when I'm out and about because my max edition verse pack only holds so much so uh, I'm trying to save on bulk and cut down on size one of the things is right here it's just a sterilized basically a uh, scalpel the other ones right here at the bottom it was a little vial of uh, iodine <clears throat> and those were pretty good so I took those out and I still carry those in my first aid kit but I just I found an alternate use for this because my six month old daughter is actually teething at the moment and uh, she loves chewing on it and that's really all it's good for. Cause like I said, half the time it won't s stick to your skin and when it does, it doesn't create very much suction at all. Um, let's see if I can get it to stick again. Yeah, see? <laughs> there you go. It has stuck and it does leave a small ring but hardly enough suction to suck out any kind of snake venom that's been injected into your veins but what I would recommend is this uh, Sawyer snake bite kit it's called the extractor and this is a nice little kit I actually I would trust this more than I would trust the uh, I guess you call the yellow round one the generic version it has a couple of alcohol prep pads a couple of sting relief pads in case uh, <clears throat> you know it's just like a mosquito bite or something you want to temporarily uh, take the itching and whatnot away and it also comes with a couple of band-aids and a small disposable razor which uh, it actually does make the uh, suction cups stick to your skin a lot better if you remove the hair from your arms or your leg or wherever else you may get bitten that's furry and that's part of why they uh, include this little exacto knife in the other kit now the way the extractor works it's basically you have four suction cups here and I took this little itty bitty tourniquet sort of gizmo it's labeled as a tourniquet I don't see it working all that great but I threw it in here it did originally come in this cheaper one <clears throat> but uh, the way this one works, you take one of the suction cups, you put it on the end, and then it's just like you're injecting something into your arm or whatnot. And you can see right there, that's a that just sucked my skin straight into it. It's already starting to turn red. So this sucker, I believe, will actually pull snake venom out of your skin. Uh, still, your best bet is just to leave it alone avoid it if at all possible but sometimes you're just going to be in a situation where 
a snake's going to crawl into your sleeping bag or into your tent. There's no way to get around that. Uh, it's, it's just eventually going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So uh, I always like to carry this with me when I'm going hiking, especially if I've got my kids with me. Uh, I like to feel like I can do something about it instead of just having to pick them up and try to flash Gordon them to the ER. But uh, you're still, even if you do have one of these kits handy, it's still highly recommended that even after you get out of your area, which you should do immediately, uh, you seek medical attention. And of course, even, even if you do use this, it's not going to suck out all the venom. So you're not going to want to be in any kind of big hurry if it's you or whoever's bitten. You don't want to make them rush because the harder your blood's pumping, then the faster the venom's going to spread through your body. And uh, then things are just going to go from bad to worse to just flat out terrible for you. So I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, the Sawyer Extractor, I've seen this retail anywhere from 7 to $10. There is a significant difference from this little 2 to $3 snake bite kit. But <clears throat> there's still the basic principle that, uh, demonstrated here, which is you get what you pay for. This one's got a lot better quality. This one's just basically a couple of rubber suction cups that work half decent uh, half the time. Like I said, I just I gave this to my daughter to chew on while she's teething. It uh it seems to work really good. She really likes it. I don't, so we're just gonna toss that aside. Yeah. She can have it when she gets back. Uh this is the one I choose to carry. Uh I know I showed y'all the other one in my other video. Uh and I had full knowledge that it wasn't that great of a kit, but it's still one of those things that's better than nothing. And uh, I have redone a lot of my packs. I'm going to be posting those up when I get a chance. But the Sawyer Extractor is the best way to go for snake bite emergencies or spider bites, insect bites, just anything that bites you that could cause severe skin irritation or uh, affect your muscles or whatever have you. But if you're doing anything outdoors, I highly recommend you carry one of these with you. Just uh, just as a simple precaution. But this is John Locke A3 signing out. Uh, about to head off to another glorious night of work at the salt mines. You guys stay safe. Be ready. God bless you.